Hi, and a big welcome, first of all, to those of you who've never seen one of my video blogs before. I'm hoping there's more of you out there because I have decided to embrace social media. Uh, I've been pretty good with Twitter, but Facebook has completely been beyond me. But now um, I'm working on it. I have a Facebook page set up, and this is where some of you, a lot of you, I hope, are starting to watch this and be introduced to me and my work. Um, I should tell you one thing, a little word of warning about me. I can be a bit of an idiot. Um, this is in reference to what I do with my voice when I have a cold, or what I have done in the past, I should say. Um, I woke up yesterday with a little bit of a virus. It got worse today. I have decided I'm going to not do any recording in the studio for as long as it takes to get rid of it. A year ago, I didn't do that. Uh, I got the virus the same time I got asked to do King's Speech, and they needed Tantor Audio, needed the book back almost immediately. So I thought, oh, I'll go for it, it'll be fine, I'll work through the cold, it's not that bad, you can't always tell that I have a cold. So I got through about five hours before I was completely wiped out. My voice was wrecked over a couple of days, and uh, I then had to take a, a full week off, at least a week, before I could get back to it, um, which I think I wouldn't have had to do if I'd just taken a few days off at the beginning. When I did get back to it, I started at the beginning, because I couldn't use anything I'd done before. Well, I think I've learnt my lesson. By the way, the book came out, it was fine, it was a success, and Tantor Audio, thank you, were very tolerant for waiting for it. Um, this time, I'm fortunate in that I don't have any immediately needed books from, from publishers. Um, I have a few over the next couple of months that I can move around a bit. I have a little space. And one of the most immediate coming up is, um, is the, f the, the penultimate part of the uh, Trollope's Palliser series, The Prime Minister, um, a fairly long book, 25 hours, and I was going to start that uh, this week. But fortunately, because it's uh, not being released now, it was written over 100 years ago, um, I don't need to worry about it, and uh, Blackstone Audio will be very tolerant, I know, in, in waiting for it. That'll be followed up a month or two later by The Duke's Children, which will be the final part of the Palliser series. And two other books I also have on my list to be done, but again, these are backlist titles, and so uh, the publisher doesn't need them immediately. They are two Dayon Mayer thrillers, both set in South Africa. If you haven't come across Dayon Mayer yet, highly recommend him. He's a wonderful writer. Um, does use a lot of South African words in it, Afrikaans and so on, and so uh, <laughs> uh, I uh, usually make a Skype call to, to Dayon in the Karoo in South Africa to make sure I get those pronunciations right. But those, looking forward to doing those. Again, backlist titles, so no rush. So I'm very fortunate. I do have one book that I have to do quickly when it comes, but that's not due for about 10 days, uh, and that is, uh, it's called the Aleppo Codex, and it's by Matty Friedman. It was a journalist based in Israel, and it's a, the story of uh, this manuscript of the Bible, a very ancient manuscript, and, and its history as it moved from Syria in the 20th century. Uh, up to the 20th century it was in Syria, and then moved to Israel, and there's uh, some interesting aspects to its history that Matty reveals, and uh, I'm very excited about that, looking forward to getting to that when it comes. The manuscript is supposed to be ready, I think, February 14th or 15th. In the meantime, I'm going to stop speaking after this and take great care of my throat. Um, let me tell you a couple of things I do. I love, love is probably probably a relative term, but um, I make use of <laughs> the neti pot. Um, interesting item if you've never used it. Warm water, uh, non-iodized salt, and uh, I usually drop in a little golden seal as a natural uh, antiseptic, and then you uh, you sluice out your sinuses in one nostril, out the other. Sounds uncomfortable. Is the first time. It's a little bit like if you wear contact lenses. The first time you put a contact lens in, really you want me to poke my finger actually into my eye? Really you want me to put fluid into my nose? Um, so it's a little uncomfortable, but basically it, it really clears things out and stops a virus in its tracks. It can shorten the progress because it clears everything out where it's developing up here and stops it from getting down into the throat, into the lungs, and becoming a much worse problem. Also, because I feel crappy in the mornings, I get a, you know, with a headache, with a virus, when it says it's worse, um, I usually take one of these, but um, I have to be very careful with these, because these do dry out the sinuses and can, uh, you know, make it a little harsher uh, in the long term, if you're not careful. You need to, you do make sure that, that you don't overuse these things, and that you drink lots of water, and that goes without saying. So, I'm going to go away, continue drinking water, 
and probably because I won't be in the studio, I'll be researching some more of these uh, these books, the South African pronunciations and so on. And I will look forward to talking to you again, whether it's on Facebook, SimonVance.com. No, that's my website. SimonVance.com is my website. Facebook.com forward slash Simon dot Vance. And while we're on the subject, my Twitter handle is at SimVan, at S-I-M-V-A-N. So in one way or another, we'll be in touch. <laughs> Take care. Have a good day.